It's DIY with Key. So I'm at the venue now and I am ready to get things going. Um, I already started, you know, unpacking the car and unloading things. But now that I got everybody inside with me, it's time to actually start putting things together. I think I had two hours for this setup or maybe two and a half hours, which was OK, because it was just like I wasn't doing too much. Everybody else was hands on with the table settings and things. So I was just focusing on this focal point, getting the balloons done and getting everything together. So right here I am adding drapes to the um, pipe and drape stand and I got these drapes from Amazon and they were really good quality um, they were 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide so I'll link them in the description box for you um, they felt good the color payoff was really good it matched my um, color theme really good before I get beside myself with talking to you guys about the setup I do want to pop a picture in here of the mock-up because y'all know I am a mock-up girl I'm a visual person I have to see it to you know bring it to life so here's the mock-up and now that y'all see the mock-up i'll get back to the actual setup and then at the end of the video when you see the outcome y'all let me know in the comments how i did and what y'all think if it's close to the mock-up or like what you know just just give me some feedback So as always to do my drapes, I'm using my heavy duty pipe and drape stand from e favor mart which i always have linked in the description bar so um if you are interested in that go ahead and check it out but the one thing that i wanted to touch on is that i loved everything about this setup y'all except that in the beginning i mentioned that the drapes were 10 feet tall by 10 feet wide i don't know why i didn't pull my stand out to be 10 by 10 i feel like i don't know what size i pulled them out to be but definitely wasn't 10 by 10. And I hate that in my pictures, you can see that clock in the background. And then behind the wall on the other side, there's like something on the wall that I could have covered with the drapes. I hate that the chair, you'll see like in towards the end, like things are poking outside of the wall, like the drapes that I wish could have just been directly in front of the drapes if I would have extended my poles to the actual 10 feet that they were but that was my mistake i didn't catch that until i was already done with the event and i'm looking at pictures so i know for next time go all the way out 10 feet tall 10 feet wide but anyway i am putting my arch wall in front of the backdrop now i also made the decal on the wall a little butterfly is on her way is what it says and um i made that with my silhouette cameo machine so um, I usually always do my decals ahead of time at home so that when my wall is delivered, I'm not having to apply decals and stuff. That's the last thing I want to worry about because sometimes those things can be tedious. I don't I don't want to deal with that. Um, so, yeah, let's go on to the next part. Also, if y'all didn't know, I did build this wall um, and I'm just really enjoying getting into building my own props. It's really therapeutic and fun for me. It's stressful in the process because I never really know what I'm doing, but it always comes out really good. Um, she just handed me a weight to put on the back of my backdrop. Uh, I'm just super proud of the builds that I've been doing right now. And um, I just wanted to mention that in the video. Next up, I'm using my open arch wall that I built as well. And with this specific wall, I added grass panels because they wanted a grass wall on the open arch. And it came out really good. I'll have the grass panels linked in the description as well. Thank you. 
cannot waste. And the other one fights that you cannot face. This is the piece that you cannot fight. Finding a way where you cannot see. Man with this sister, you cannot break. I need to find relief. Next up, I'm adding the butterfly that I built into the setup. And if you want to see how I built this, I took you through the whole process on TikTok and also on um, my Party Plug Instagram page. So definitely go check that out because it was such a fun like process of going through it, but very really tedious and you get more of like the behind the scenes on how I did it. Now that my base of my balloons is attached, I'm doing what I always do. I'm using 260 balloons to turn into bracelets so I can have them already um, easily accessible on my wrist. And I am attaching my detail uh, clusters with the 260s onto. So I'm adding the 260 to one cluster and then adding it to the base of the balloon garland. And I'm just doing that the whole time so I can build it up and make it chunky and make it really nice. I do that with my detail balloons and I also do that with my five inch balloons as well. And then also on my open arch wall, I have like um, these adhesive hooks on the back of them already. So I'll link those for y'all too because that is how I'm able to uh put the arch in the middle of the open arch and connect it to something and then build on it because I have those hooks on the back of the wall. They're really good. Five for my yarn. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're. 